the United States-Philippines Civil Nuclear Cooperation Agreement, or the 123 Agreement, entered into force on July 2, 2024. The U.S. Department of State's Office of the Spokesperson announced on Tuesday. Signed in November last year, the 123 Agreement will establish a legal framework that allows the export of nuclear fuel, reactors, equipment, and special nuclear material from the U.S. to the Philippines. The agreement lays the legal framework for potential nuclear power projects with U.S. providers and aims to facilitate Philippine-U.S. cooperation in the safe and secure use of nuclear energy. Taking into full account the standards and safeguards set by the International Atomic Energy Agency, as well as in accordance with respective national laws, international agreements, and regulations. Upon entry into force, the 123 Agreement will allow the transfer of information, nuclear material, equipment, and components directly between the Philippines and the U.S. or through persons authorized by their respective authorities to engage in transfer activities, which will support potential nuclear power projects with U.S. providers. It will also pave the way for streamlining the licensing requirements for the private sector with respect to investments in nuclear-related intangible transfers of technology. Energy security is an increasingly critical global challenge requiring deliberate collaborative efforts, and together, our two countries can make a significant contribution to our shared clean energy goals, the U.S. Department of State said. Nuclear energy, it said could help achieve these global climate change and energy security targets. The U.S. Department of State said the agreement is part of its efforts to develop the Philippine civil nuclear sector. Creating a safe, secure, and modern sector requires a skilled workforce, robust regulations, and strong commercial partnerships. Our government is committed to working with the Philippines to advance each of these areas and we look forward to further building our partnership together, the U.S. Department of State said. President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. earlier said the administration would be glad to pursue nuclear energy as part of the country's energy mix by 2032 through the partnership forged with American providers. His administration seeks to increase the country's renewable energy mix to 35% by 2030 and 50% by 2040. In her speech at the 16th U.S. Embassy Media Seminar in Iloilo on Monday, U.S. Ambassador to the Philippines Mary Kay Carlson assured that the U.S. is fully committed to supporting the country's energy and climate goals. Carlson said one concrete example of the U.S. commitment is the signing of the Civil Nuclear Cooperation Agreement. As an ally and a partner, the U.S. government is fully committed to supporting the Philippines and fulfilling that vision, Carlson said. Accelerating Development Around 40 companies are expected to participate in the development of the Philippine nuclear energy, United States Embassy Commercial Counselor Paul Taylor said on Tuesday. Right now, we have 14 American companies that signed up for this industry-led civil nuclear industry working group. These 14 companies, we expect to expand to as many as 40, Taylor said during the 16th media seminar in Iloilo organized by the U.S. Embassy in the Philippines. We expect to ramp up to 40, somewhere close to 40. These are companies that are providing technology, services, Know how that the Philippines will need to really accelerate the development of this industry sector, he added. Following the signing of the U.S. Philippines Civil Nuclear Cooperation Agreement, or the 123 Agreement, the U.S. chose Manila as the headquarters for the U.S. Civil Nuclear Industry Working Group. The embassy has created an industry lead working group made up of American companies that are looking to bring their technologies to the Philippines, Taylor said. Taylor said that while the lead working group will focus on the Philippines, it will touch a few other markets in Southeast Asia, 